talk a little more during this welcome, and I'm not really one for um, talking straight out, so I've got the paper of what I've written. I guess that's a bit of a skill I'll get down the track. So I'd like to talk more today about Tanaprikani narrative and story as artists and as a Pakana Tasmanian Aboriginal artist myself. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge and congratulate all our New Zealand artists and all artists who have worked so intensely to develop their perspectives for the Hobanali through the arts. The first festival of its kind in Australia, and we are excited that this will continue biannually with initiatives from grassroots organisations, not to mention the grassroots of our artists living and reliving the journey with strong knowledge, a knowledge passed down through the generations of all First Nations. We honour and acknowledge those people past and present. Tonight the Hobanali launches. How can you tell for sure? How do we consume the media? And how does this reflect what we practise? through living through the arts. As a Pakana Tasmanian Aboriginal artist and emerging artist, I'm always intrigued continually, <coughs> challenging my mind because of what is consumed within the westernised world. As a watercolour painter, I tell the story, our, core, our, store, our story of our country that shares with us a spiritual landscape, challenged by the disruptions of time and power, but showing the strength of our identity through Palawakani language, the dual naming of Lutruita Miladina country and a continual living history, community, culture and connections. In a spiritual landscape, we live with a country that holds the knowledge and songs from our old people, our grassroots. The strength of our ancestors are within us, keeping us strong, just as our spirits that we follow and that are always here, just as we. I seem to visualise the world by peering through the many raindrops that form and shape by clinging to the leaves of Lutati, the trees, a realm that reflects the world guided by our ancestors and country, creates a mind and spirit to follow with the Kani narrative and story, and I see this in what draws a focus for your <coughs> Nanya, your Wana Pakalali and Nina Mapali collaborative works. I have no reservations that we are all kiili tequila manamapli tanaplikani, extremely th thrilled to experience and understand your stories, that you are brought to the Hobanali to share and revigorate our senses, emotions and luck of power, pain Ghana, visual minds. With all works for the Hobanali, I truly wish you with all best intentions and inspiring and meaningful celebration of your stories tonight and for the future. Art is in many layers, bringing many diverse perspectives that are vividly told. I'm assured that your works will bring much, much more conversations and story to Lutruita, Tasmania, with love, understandings and value. Rana Kani Rala, Kani Warranta, Kawan Rika Rala Wal. Stories of strength, story we need to hear, Nairi Ninatul. <laughs> <laughs> 